हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स I'm going to welcome all of you guys in this live session. Today's topic is very interesting and uh, very beneficial for daily practice. And uh, there are lots of questions arise on this one single word that is constitution. So different author give different. Uh, definitions of this single word constitution and uh, i would like to discuss each and every author to explain this single word Doc dr magnet blacky she described the constitutional trait or constitutional remedy is that uh, she says uh, if we see the dictionary meaning dictionary meaning of constitution it is the fundamental system of law governing the body she explained the constitution in this way this is true of our material physiological body but beyond that we are individual and each having our own personality and each acting in our own characteristic way har ek insaan ek different tarike se behave karta hai ek different tarike se उसके जो फीचर्स हैं वो दुनिया के सामने आते हैं और जो हमारे फीचर्स हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इफ हैव ए ब्लॉन्ड हेयर ब्लू आईज फेयर स्किन डार्क स्किन करली हेयर tendency of the skin to cold or to heat the reaction of the body and our re reaction to different situation is our constitution the constitutional remedy is a picture of sum total of the strength and weakness of the person mentally emotionally and physically and it is early undiagnosable stage of illness that we must find the constitutional remedy jo bhi cheeze hamare samne aati hain ya hum kisi se milte hain hum hum hame pata chalta hai ki wo banda is tarah se behave karta hai uska uska bolne ka tarika uska khade hone ka tarika uska baithne ka tarika uska baat karne ka tarika उसका समझने का तरीका उसका एक्सप्लेन करने का तरीका इट्स वेरी डिफरेंट एंड इफ इट इज डिफरेंट बिकॉज फ्यू फीचर्स पीपल हैव सेम बट द रिएक्शन ऑफ एवरी पर्सन टू एवरी सिचुएशन इज डिफरेंट तो सवाल अब ये पैदा होता है कि पेशेंट क्या है उसका टेम्परामेंट उसका कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन उसका एटीट्यूड उसकी डोमिनेंट फंक्शन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस इज एवरीथिंग इज डिफरेंट तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को हम किस लेवल पर रखें क्यों बिकॉज हर बंदा कुछ ये कहते हैं कि जस्ट टेक द सिम्टम्स गिव मेडिसन दैट्स इट बट समटाइम्स पीपल हु एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस वर्ड दे डिडेंट फॉलो दिस रूल्स इन क्लिनिक
A few days before, I saw one person who says, there is no need of history. There is no need of history. In case, if even if it is acute or if it is chronic, no need of history. Is it possible to cure that patient holistically, you don't need the history? That's not possible. This is total misguidance. So we are, today we, we are discussing constitution. When we have to take the constitutional remedy, what kind of symptoms we have the base which make the base of constitutional remedy. So, so if we talk about in in detail, in normal circumstances, a constitution is a present at birth. Har panda, har person, har chota bachcha bhi jab wo paida hota hai, to uska ek apna constitution hai. Wo apne tarike se behave karta hai. वो अपने तरीके से एक्सप्रेशन देता है वो अपने तरीके से चीजों को बताता है सो इन नॉर्मल सरकमस्टांस ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज प्रेजेंट एट बर्थ एंड इट इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पेशेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इफ द मदर एक्सपीरियंस एब नॉर्मल सरकमस्टांस वाइल प्रेगनेंट द एक्सपेक्ट constitution may be mistuned by the event ek mother hai usne abhi apne bacche ko janam nahi diya hai but agar uske samne bahut aise circumstances aate hain jis circumstances mein wo depression mein chale jati hai shock mein chale jati hai ग्रीफ में चले जाती है तो उसका सीधा सीधा इफेक्ट उसके बच्चे पर डायरेक्टली पड़ता है सो इफ द मदर एक्सपीरियंस एब नॉर्मल सरकमस्टांस वाइल प्रेगनेंट द एक्सपेक्टेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मे बी मिसट्यून बाय दिस इवेंट उसकी वजह से उस बच्चे के अंदर इफेक्ट आपको देखने को मिलेंगे अगर हम एग्जाम्पल की बात करें ए चाइल्ड इज बोर्न नेट्रम्योर बिकॉज ऑफ द मदर ग्रीफ बाई केयरिंग द बेबी और इट टाइम इन टू दर्ल्ड नीडिंग बिकॉज द मदर एक्सपीरियंस एलमेंट फ्रॉम अनरिक्वेस्टेड लव अनरिक्वेस्टेड लव क्या होता है कि एक तरफा प्यार मैंने तो अपनी हंड्रेड परसेंट दिया पर जितना मैंने दिया मुझे उसका रेस्क्यू प्रोकोल नहीं मिला आई डिट गेट दैट अमाउंट ऑफ लव इन इन रिवर्स सो और इट कम इन टू दर्ल्ड नीडिंग टेरन टूला इफ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द टेरन टूला बिकॉज द मदर एक्सपीरियंस एलमेंट फ्रॉम अनरिक्वेस्टेड लव एंड इन समाइम इन केस ऑफ इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन जब हम टेस्ट बेबी की तरफ जाते हैं तब तब भी बेबी अफेक्ट होता है क्योंकि मदर के दिमाग में एक चीज हमेशा बनी रहती है कि अगर ये फेल हो गया तो इवन कि अगर उसको प्रेगनेंसी भी हो जाती है तो उसके अनुसार उसके दौरान भी मदर के एक चीज दिमाग में हमेशा बनी रहती है कि अगर बेबी को कुछ हो गया अगर अबोर्शन हो गया अगर ब्लीडिंग हो गई अगर इस तरह की कोई सिचुएशन सामने आ गई तो ये नौ महीने लगातार उसके दिमाग में एक डर लगातार बना हुआ है कि अगर कुछ हो गया तो so while she is waiting to know the outcome of the procedure even after she know she is pregnant she may be fearful of losing the baby
उसके दिमाग में ये बात हमेशा बनी रहेगी कि कहीं मेरा बच्चा कहीं मुझे ब्लीडिंग ना हो जाए कहीं मुझे अबॉर्शन ना हो जाए कहीं मुझे ये ना हो जाए ये एक डर और जो बच्चा पैदा होगा उस डर के साथ पैदा होगा अकॉर्डिंग टू द टीचिंग ऑफ कॉल जंग होम्योपैथ होम्योपैथिक फिलोसफी एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डॉक्टर कॉल जंग क्या कहते हैं द इनहर्टेड इनहर्टेड tendency to respond automatically along certain qualitatively predetermined individual characteristic and fixed response pattern ye ek inherited tendency hai janm se hame milti hai janm se hi hamare saath hai har bande ka kisi bhi situation ke samne ka reaction bilkul different hai हर बंदा अपने तरीके से किसी भी मुश्किल दौर को किसी भी मुश्किल सिचुएशन को हैंडल करता है कई कई बोर्ड होकर सामने खड़े हो जाते हैं कोई बात नहीं देख लेंगे कई भाग जाते हैं कई दूसरों का सहारा लेते हैं कई दूसरों को बताते हैं कई डरते जरूर हैं मगर कुछ नहीं बताते किसी को सो दे एक्सप्लेन एनी थिंग एनी थिंग टू एनी they just they just feel they just absorb the 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 impact of that thing this, this is a inherited quality of the patient and, and this is automatically this is not acquired this is always present in our body from the mother womb because we are here because of two person and two miasmatic different state and our reaction is always according to our inherited trait what we got we react accordingly so if the mother having a, a issues during the pregnancy these issues these impacts will always show in baby after few days you will see these kind of uh, reactions from the baby and sometimes we are shocked how this little little tiny body react in this massive way so in her quality in her tendency to respond automatically along certain qualitative predetermined individual characteristic and fixed response pattern fixed response and he always he or she always re responds according to the इन हर्ट ट्रेड सारी उम्र इसी तरह से वो रिएक्ट करते समटाइम्स इफ देर इज एनी डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन ही फ्यूर पूरी बॉडी होल बॉडी ट्रेम्बोल्ड बट नोन रिएक्टिव कोई रिएक्शन नहीं नो रिएक्शन सो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन can be described by characterizing these fixed response pattern if we characterize for example one person in his mother history having a very troublesome ninth month pregnancy her husband is at border and she always has one fear something happens something happens if something happen what will what will we do and the kid all is get birth with this fear 
even he didn't face the situations always thinking that if something happened what will i do in school if something happened if i got the accident he didn't get go to school into the bus he always forced the parents to get me into the car and leave at the school this fear always fearful fear of being alone fear of crowd fear of dark why this condition is produced in the baby because mother has the same tendency mother has the same tendency and when we collect these characteristic from any patient who reacting to the situation is called constitution and any attempt to stop the response pattern typically of a certain constitution or to enforce a pattern that is different from the inborn automatic one always meet with the fundamental resistance अगर आप किसी को कहेंगे कि आपने ये नहीं करना नो ही विल नॉट इफ इफ द बेबी इज फियरफुल एंड यू से डोंट फियर कैन यू चेंज इट नो यू कैन चेंज इट बिकॉज द बेबी इज बोर्न विद दिस पैटर्न वी कैन चेंज एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कैन नॉट बी चेंज किसी भी बंदे का किसी भी पर्सन का कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन चेंज नहीं किया जा सकता जो जो जिस तरह का है वो सारी उम्र उसी तरह का ही रहेगा तो फिर फिर सवाल पैदा होता है कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रेमेडी क्यों व्हेन पर्सन इज सफर बिकॉज इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन ही इज हेल्दी but these situations jo uska jo inherited trait hai wo uske sath hamesha bani rehti hai matlab usko tang nahi karte aur jab us wo situation kisi difficult situation mein kisi disease condition mein kisi acute ya chronic condition mein phasta hai to uski body ka jo reaction hota hai uske against these symptoms are characteristic i saw one patient he has a problem of constipation and that patient is seen by my colleague and the reaction is very diff different he has a mental symptom everything is there but there is one unique thing is that he she says i always get relief from constipation while i took half a glass or a glass of milk aur kisi bhi cheez ko itni jaldi yakeen nahi karna aur हाफ एन आवर की कन्वर्सेशन में उसने कम से कम बीस बार ये चीज कहा होगा कि आई गेट रिलीफ फ्रॉम मिल्क एंड इफ वी सी रिपोर्ट्री पाथक रिपोर्ट्री देर इज ओनली वन मेडिसिन कॉन्स्टिपेशन रिलीफ एमिलियोरेटेड बाय मिल्क आयोडम वेरी डिफरेंट and this is a concomitant symptom and according to boring hassan concomitant symptoms are much more important than the mental symptom <laughs> if you have a strong one and these constitution these concomitant symptoms are the base base of our description different when two symptoms having they are uh, 
they are together but there is no relationship between these two symptoms this is called concomitant only single medicine iodine तो जब भी किसी के नॉर्मल रिस्पॉन्स को किसी की नॉर्मल टेंडेंसी को अगर हम रोकने की कोशिश करेंगे तो उस वो रेजिस्ट करता है उससे रोकता है उन चीजों को वो उस चीज को इजिली नहीं डाल पाता सो so, many psychologists claim that man is by no means a product of heredity and environment but ultimately decide for himself dr victor frank frankel dr victor frankel he he is a psychotherapist and speak of his period in concentration camp claim that in spite of social restriction people reacted differently har person alag tarike se react karta hai alag tarike se respond karta hai for example ek class mein aap baithe hain to aapne kuch aisa bol diya jo nahi bolna chahiye tha क्या हर बंदा उस बात पर रिएक्ट करेगा नहीं हर बंदा उस बात पर रिएक्ट नहीं करेगा हर बंदा अलग तरीके से उसको देखेगा मगर कुछ उनमें से एक बच्चा खड़ा होता है और सीधा बोलता है कि सर आप यू आर रॉन्ग हेयर विदाउट हैजिटेटिंग विदाउट एनी फियर Without any restriction, खड़ा होकर बोलता है कि यू आर रॉन्ग एंड एवरी वन विल बी शॉक्ट द टीचर विल ऑल्सो शॉक्ट कि हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल वन पर्सन स्टैंड अप इन द क्लास एंड से लाउडली एंड रिएक्ट इन दिस वे every person in spite of social restriction people react differently they react differently and some were hopeless from the beginning doctor sahab acute condition doctor sahab fever hua mujhe lagta hai ki main nahi theek ho sakta mujhe lagta hai ki mujhe aisi bimari lag gayi ki main theek nahi ho sakta डॉक्टर साहब जल्दी जल्दी फोन करो कॉल द डॉक्टर एक एक पर्सन इस तरह से बिहेव कर रहा है एक तरफ ये कह रहा है कि डॉक्टर साहब फायदा ही कुछ नहीं है मेडिसिन लेने का कोई फायदा नहीं मैं ठीक नहीं हो सकता इवन इन एक्यूट कंडीशन एक्ट कॉल द डॉक्टर इमीडिएटली आई विल डाई इन फ्यू मिनट्स वेन द डॉक्टर केम होम बाहर चला जाता है आर्सेनिक कोई फायदा नहीं मेडिसिन लेने का सेम पर्सन सेम एक्यूट कंडीशन बोथ पर्सन रिएक्ट डिफरेंटली डॉक्टर साहब फीवर तो बहुत दिनों से है फीवर था भी बहुत मुझे मगर ध्यान नहीं दिया मैंने पहले तो अब क्या हुआ डॉक्टर साहब बढ़ने लगी प्रॉब्लम तब मेडिसिन लेने आए ओपीएम डॉक्टर साहब ऐसे ही चलता रहता है फीवर आता रहता है जाता रहता है मैं ज्यादा परवाह नहीं करता अब भी मुझे किसी ने कहा कि यार तू दवाई दुई ले ले चलो इतने दिन हो गए अब मैं दवाई लेने आ गया बेला डोना लाइट मूड सेम कंडीशन 
reaction is different. And what we are looking for, we are looking for different reaction of an acute patient and in, in chronic condition, every person is reacting differently in every situation. Dr. Sahib, it's called fever. Hua, itna bolna lag gaya, itna bolne lag gaya. Dr. Sahib, bolne se hatta hi nahi hai. Agar aap Allen's key note khologe, to podophyllum mein hi likha hua hai. Very talkative while in fever. Podophyllum. Dr. Sahib, बोलने लग गया जब भी इसको फीवर होता है पता नहीं कहां कहां से बातें लेकर आता है कभी ये बोलता है कभी वो बोलता है कभी एक बात पर टिकता ही नहीं है लैक्सिस सेम कंडीशन डिफरेंट रिएक्शन डिफरेंट रिएक्शन सो व्हाट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर वी आर लुकिंग फॉर डिफरेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन same situation reaction is always different and dr victor frankel he says every person react differently in acute or in chronic one person is hopeless i don't have any hope to be cured even in the beginning abhi bukhar aaj hi hua subah main theek nahi ho sakta or committed suicide committed desire to commit suicide by droning desire to commit suicide by fasting khana chhod diya i don't want to eat anything other with heroic in their suffering always giving hope even sharing their spare food supplies बुखार है बीमार है मगर फिर भी दूसरों को होप नहीं मैं ठीक हो जाऊंगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं इवन कैंसर इज वेरी होपफुल इवन स्प्रेडिंग द फूड दिस इज डिफरेंट one in acute condition very acute is hopeless and one person is is facing the cancer now he is hopeful i will be okay i don't have any problem dr fleckel claims they all still had the freedom of choice in how to respond but i disagree with this the predominant miasmatic state because jo bachcha paida ho raha hai he or she has their own miasmatic state kyunki wo different miasmatic state se us ek state tak pahuncha hai so that person react accordingly aur hum ye kehte hain ki nahi nahi ye maa par gaya नहीं नहीं ये बाप पर गया और अगर जनरेशन टू जनरेशन की बात करें कई बार फादर और मदर के गुण नहीं मिलते उसके दादा के गुण मिलते हैं नाना के गुण नानी के गुण मिलते हैं नो नहीं ये उस तरह का है ये उस तरह से बिहेव करता है दिस इज ए डिफरेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड प्री डोमिनेंट टिक miasmatic state together with the constitution more than environment or decision making fuel by the right education no even a educated fully educated person he know that he can't react like that but he will react because of his inherited trait so wo si tarah se behave karta hai without a doubt those who opt for suicide were 
shifting out of their inherited syphilitic miasm while those who help out other were strongly soric in nature a true gift from their ancestors same person same situation different reaction that is called constitution that is why we are called he needs the constitutional remedy if he want to be okay badi jaldi bimar ho jata sir और आपकी हिस्ट्री में देखेंगे डॉक्टर साहब मेरे फादर भी इसी तरह बीमार होते थे मेरी मदर इस तरह से बीमार होती थी बड़ी खेती बीमार होती थी बहुत जल्दी बीमार हो जाती थी सो पेशेंट हैविंग ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ट्रेड फॉर एग्जांपल समवन हु इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली क्लोरिक कैनोड respond in phlegmatic way so this is a different temperament so we will discuss after that these temperaments because you cannot judge the patient if you don't know the temperament different constitution different temperament different constitution different reaction sometimes people are very very light like belladonna doesn't and there is a sanguine temperament sometimes people are very very sad don't want to talk always vp always need support warmth like like pulsatella phlegmatic constitution phlegmatic temperament we will discuss after that then the value of the constitution in determining the same lemma so what is the value the constitution is the foundation that will determine much of your fate a phosphorus a carbon kali magnesium sulfur will person will react differently in a same hardship har remedy same situation mein alag tarike se behave kar for example sulfur and magnesium carb have the tool for survival surviving hardship tenacity tenacity kya hota hai that someone who does whatever is required to accomplish a goal kuch bhi karna pad jaye magar mujhe wo cheezon ko paana hai mujhe ye cheez achieve karni hai mujhe yahan tak pahunchna hai tenacity इंटेलिजेंट स्वीट स्मार्ट ड्राइव एंड परसीवरेंस लगातार लगे रहना डॉक्टर साहब बहुत डॉक्टरों के पास गया हूं मैं मैंने हिम्मत नहीं हारी मैं लगातार कोशिश कर रहा हूं कि मुझे कहीं से अच्छी दवाई मिल जाए तो मैं ठीक हो जाऊं परसीवरेंस लगातार कोशिश करते रहने वाला पर्सन परसीवरेंस always try again try and try and try again to achieve the goal i never tired man i never tired it's it's my duty to do work if i fail i i i will go again i will go, go again so a carbon person or a fast forest with either a undeveloped ego or a lack of boundary like to be magnetized might be utterly depressed and scummed when face the similar events the question therefore arise is the constitutional temperament a valid factor to consider to finding the simlima is it is it the constitutional temperament is valid this question will arise is it possible a constitutional remedy every person need a constitutional remedy then what kent says kent wrote this uh uh one small paragraph and 
that paragraph name is classification of constitution useless in prescribing in this lecture ken says why should we attempt to classify the constitution as an add in prescribing it is a fatal error to classify constitution as no two are sufficiently similar though two constitutions are never be similar so why do we classify we can't classify the constitution every person has their own constitution every person is react differently every person is react to difficult situation differently if everyone is reacting differently then why we classify the constitution when observed by a genuine homeopath to form even a common class the physician who describe on the base diagnosis is a failure if somebody is, is uh, prescribing on the diagnosis fail he or she will fail and except for his chance short the symptoms that is represent the morbid constitution or disorder of the individual are the one that skillful prescribers always seek what we are seeking we are seeking the reaction of the patient one person says hey doctor i have a one one uh, lipoma here and i'm fearing that it this will be cancer and he check he he visit every laboratory every doctor and because he confirm in his mind that this is a cancer but every report laboratory says there is nothing is there this is small lipoma this is small tumor and it will be healed but he cannot believe on anyone and one patient has a cancer and he he or she didn't visit any doctor so the symptom that represent morbid constitution or disorder of the individual are the ones that skillful prescriber will always seek symptom that are common in one constitution are uncommon to the another constitution this can happen if one thing is common for one person that the same thing may be uncommon for that other person because such uncommon symptoms are common to someone some disease and uncommon to others so indeed we all we all recognize that each human being is a constellations of characteristics quality of characteristic that serve that distinguish him from other because every person is different every reaction is different every symptom is different may be common for other may be not so if everything is characteristic if everything is different then every medicine will be different or maybe the same medicine will react in different situation so characteristic such a body build color of hair eye sector that within the health of the person and cannot be altered by homeopathic remedy never they will never change constitution you can't change the constitution but the reaction of the you you just change what is uncommon what is disease what is morbid but if if you think you change the constitution never you can't change the constitution but we must contradict the idea immediately as hippocratic constitutional temperaments so, so we need more detailed study on this constitution because we have to read hippocrates 
who give the constitutional temperament, different types of temperament. He's, he gave four, sanguine, chloric, and phlegmatic, and one is more. The system, and what he says, this system include positive and negative characteristic as well as symptomatology that these body mind types suffer from when under the stress of a specific disease trigger or every temperament react differently in same situation so the typology developed by the ancient was intended to determine the effect of trigger in order to understand susceptibility, dysquasia, and predisposition of the patient. Just as Dr. Hanneman said in his aphorism number 73, occasional sporadic diseases and the word temperament has different level of meaning. In general, it means state of mind and disposition. State of mind and disposition. And in particular, it means the physical and the mental organization of the body. Because sometimes the, the, the conditions start in the body, but affect the mind. This is somatopsychic disease. Sometimes the condition produced in the mind and the body will suffer. This is called psychosomatic. I saw one person there and he, he or she diagnosed with the cancer. Now I have a problem. I have a fear that if something happened to me, if I got the cancer, she doesn't have these symptoms, but what is produced in his mind? Mind says you will get cancer. If she get the cancer, she was healthy, but she was diagnosed with the cancer. I'm also healthy, but if something happened to me, different reaction. you are diagnosed with cancer doesn't matter everyone there are lots of people who suffer from the same disease it's nothing new one person is reacting like that and the other person who doesn't have cancer but reacting very very loudly So there are four temperaments, chloratic, sanguine, phlegmatic, and nervous, nervous temperament. And diseases is mistuned of the vital force. Something mistuned, symptom will produce. And what Hahnemann says, Hahnemann write about pulsatella in his Materia Medica Pura, what he said, he said, hence the medical employment of pulsatella will be all the more efficacious when it affection for which this plant is suitable in respect to the corporal symptoms. There is at the same time the patient is a mild lacrimose disposition with a tendency to inward grief and silent peevishness or at all events a mild and yielding disposition especially when the patient in his normal state of health was good temper and mild or even flavorous or good humor it is therefore especially adapted to slow phlegmatic temperaments phlegmatic temperaments on the other hand it is but little suitable for person who form their resolution with the rapidity air 
and are quick in their movement, even though they may appear to be good tempered. If the problem start very quickly, rapidly, you can prescribe Pulsatela to the patient. You can't. Aap nahi usko de sakte. The, you will fail if you prescribe pul Pulsatela. Pulsatela has a different constitution, different symptoms, different keynotes. Who describes the Pulsatela in whole situation? And we see that the term constitution and temperament were used in homeopathy from the beginning. Even Hahnemann used many times. Indication of this phlegmatic earthy types are followed by here Dr. Hahnemann counterindication. It means that such patient, if these patient have rapid season, quick movement, create belonging more to sanguine fire type like phosphorus. They are not with pulsatella. If you prescribe pulsatella in this situation, in this person, the remedy will fail. Another important facet is the change in disposition and temperament that may occur during the acute conditions. Disposition and temperament can change, but Constitution will never change. The constitution is always same, but the temperament and the disposition may change, even in acute condition. So the absolutely must be investigated as it play an important role in finding the acute remedy. What? The more drastic the change, the more important they are. As I already said, one, one patient who suffered from constipation and says, she says, oh, whenever I get the milk, I got ameliorated. I, I got ameliorated. So this position is changed. I would have cured that case. So when you when using the warm warning husband method, the mental emotional symptoms are taken into account only at the end of investigation in order to differentiate between the remedies. Warning husband says mental symptoms. If you say uh, I have to get the mental symptom, ask the mental symptom. No. If you ask, hey, what about your anger? Every person has an anger. But every person is reacting differently. Bonnie Hassan says mental symptoms are only used to differentiate the remedy. Only differentiation. This is the theory of Bonnie Hassan. Hahnemann stressed the importance of emotional changes in acute diseases. What he says, aphorism number 213. Therefore, one will never cure according to nature. That is homeopathically. Unless one considers the mental and emotional changes along with the other symptoms in all cases of disease. Tab tak hum patient ko thik nahi kar paayenge jab tak uske andar jo mind ke ya emotional symptoms ke jo jo badlaav hai wo aap nahi le lete. Therefore, we will never cure according to nature, that is homeopathically, unless one considers the mental and emotional changes along with the other symptoms in all cases of diseases, even acute one, and unless the treatment one choose from among the remedies a disease agent, 
that can produce an emotional or mental state of its own similar to that of disease as well as other similar to those of the disease. Until well, we have a similar symptom, until we have a changes, emotional or physical changes, until we have a mental changes, we can't cure the patient homeopathically. Again, he says, the aconite napolis will seldom or never cure either quickly or permanently if the patient disposition is calm and undisturbed. You got the patient. He says, doctor, I got fever. I was out a few minutes from the house. The, the air was cold. Then after that, I, I got the fever. And you saw the patient is very calm. And so I don't want to uh, want to be disturbed. Nobody, I just, I even, even the light disturbed me. You can't prescribe aconite here. Nor will the Naxomomica, if it is mild or phlegmatic, nor will Pulsitella, if it is glad, cheerful and willful, and nor Agnesia, if it is steady and without fearfulness or irritability. Never. These medicines will fail. If you prescribe these medicines in opposite reactions, opposite situations. And Hanneman clear, make it clear that a perfect prescription follow aphorism number seven, totality of the symptom. And he said, in addition, it will help the physician to bring about a cure if he can determine the most probable exciting causes. And in this, he con should consider the evident physical constitution of the patient, especially in chronic affections, his affective and intellectual character, his activity, his way of life, his habit, his social position, his family relationship, his age, his sexual life, etc. So we have to see the patient thoroughly and what we are looking for, we are looking for different constitution reacting in the same situation. Aphorism number five reflect the mind body complex of human being. What do they do? How do they live? What characterize their sexual behavior? their intelligence sector. These all are all a constitutional factor that must be taken into account when selecting the perfect prescription. We should know these symptoms and we should know the value of these symptoms. After that, Dr. C. Herring, the big name in homeopathy, extends proving published in guiding symptom of our materia medica and he paid special attention to the corresponding hippocratic temperament about pulsatella he wrote the person is indecisive indecisive slow phlegmatic temperament sandy hair blue eyes face pale Easily move to laughter or fear, affectionate, mild, gentle, timid, yielding disposition, especially suited for good nature, timid people inclined to grief and submissiveness, women inclined to be fleshy, delicate feature, color of face readily changing. Color of Face really changing. Hearing examples in 
guiding symptom of our materia medica are very useful as they show us physical constitution during the state of health and how the medicinal diseases induced by the remedy transfer them. And if it was observed that specific remedy brought out more symptoms in one type of constitution than other, these statics were recorded. We have a four different type of temperaments, sanguine, phlegmatic, chloretic, and nervous. And during proving, he saw if this medicine produced more symptom in particular temperament, particular constitution, they will record it. They are recorded because these medicine will cure these kind of persons very easily, like pulsatile, phlegmatic, slow, indecisive. Homeopathic remedy proved lead to well-known characteristic symptoms. For example, Naxavomica is described as being well adapted to irritable, thin, dry, bilious, and chloretic temperament, whereas Agnesia is suited to women hysterical, changeable, nervous temperament. Nervous temperament easily changes. According to the hearings proving, phosphorus is well adapted to tall, slender person of sanguine temperament. Different, same constitution, different temperaments. Reaction of the body is different. Reaction of the disease is different. Reaction to the situation is different. Arsenic is well adapted to the over anxious. Doctor, I saw that person having a cancer and I, I have a fear that I will get this cancer very soon. If this happened to me, over anxious, over anxious, chilly and nervous temperament. And in material medic of hearing guidance symptom, he describes stages of life and constitution of each remedy. That's why very important. If we read the basic books, we are far away from our basic books. We are far are away from our basic books. So if if we saw these books, read this book, Materia Medica Pura, hearing guiding symptoms, they are valuable books. Stages of life, he described the stages of life. Kiss stage per symptoms are hearing guiding symptoms indicating that such and such remedy fit and act well on particular constitution and temperament note that he is not saying that the remedy cause such constitution unhone kahi ne ka ki ye remedy is tarah ke constitution paida karti hai he says these remedy react very well in particular type of constitution particular type of temperaments. It's, it's, he's talking about proving, proving symptoms. That's why proving symptoms are much, much, much more important than other things. By adding the other concomitant symptoms of the patient, we may conclude that this show Slow, weeping, warm, gentle temperament is manifest more morbid, phlegmatica, pulsatella by the fair, chilly, morose temperament is more morbid, phlegmatic, graphitis because the graphitis is chronic of pulsatella. One is warm, one is chilly, different. Both, both are different. And the individual has a phlegmatic temperament, 
not a remedy. A remedy is what they need based on their exhibiting symptom. What, what the reaction of the body, what is what we getting from the patient is the basis of the rem, the basis of the prescription, because his or her reaction will decide the remedy. Hippocratic constitution are help in selecting homeopathic remedies as their characteristic are part of overall totality of the symptom. What, how they react will give us temperament and that temperament help us to decide the remedy. Dr. Boring Hassan in his lesser writing, what he said, he said, must stand at the head of the image of the disease. To this belong, first of all, the sex and the age, then bodily constitution and the temperament emphasis. He says temperament, constitution, both if possible, separated according to his sick and his well days how one person is reacting when he was well and how he is reacting while he is sick if you make difference between these two reaction these two situations you will find the exact minimum of the patient because you should then you know the temperament and constitution of the patient and says, Dr. he's very happy, he's very playing. He will meet every person. But whenever he was sick, it was hard to handle. He or she was hard to handle. Belladonna. Sanguine temperament. And that is in so far as in appreciable difference has appeared in them, the spiritual and dispositional individual of the patient. And here give the most important, often almost the only deciding point, only and only deciding point. If you have a reaction, if you have a temperament and the constitution of the patient disease and not healthy condition. So what is therefore important to the homeopath to pay attention to a change in temperament? Sabse jaduri, sabse important baat to har ek homeopath ke dimag mein rehni chahiye ki agar ek banda healthy tha, jab o healthy hone ke baad kisi bhi acute ya chronic condition mein fasa to usme badlav kya hai what kind of changes produced in that person will give us indication of particular remedy and that remedy will cure that patient immediately so to pay attention to the changes in the temperament in the individual Pointing to the development of disease, maybe acute or chronic, a change that will lead us to the selection of the remedy. So, this is a short discussion about constitution. Next, I will discuss very briefly temperaments, all the temperament, their reaction, how they react in different situations. We will discuss it thoroughly because we need almost 10 to 12 uh, discussion uh, classes to discuss these temperament thoroughly. So if we know the constitution, if we know the temperament of the patient, we will easily find the exact remedy of the patient. And if you have any question, please ask. I will definitely discuss on this. Thank you so much.